Hi guys, welcome back to Swap W. It's been a while since I last talked to you guys, and um, quite frankly, I've been busy recently. Been working on a lot of projects and getting a couple websites up, so uh, I've been really busy recently. So just didn't have the time to really talk to you guys, and quite frankly, I miss you guys, and hopefully, you guys miss my videos too. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the topic of website infringement. Now, what is uh, website infringing um, based on? That's when you have a content, let's just say you write a content about a dog, for example, and you find out somebody has written exactly the same type of information that you have written on. And obviously, you know, if they're clever, they change a word here and there, but eventually you figure it out. And uh, basically, what do you do? Uh, this type of stuff only happens too common in the website world today. Most people copy people's stuff and you know that's just not a, a, a game that's never gonna end so what can you do about it well there's actually a few things you can do about it first you can contact your advertisers for example let's just say they're advertising for um, I don't know a shoe company for example that you're doing an affiliate program with you can contact shoe company and go hey the guy you're working with um, is really not legitimate he copied my content um, he's not original if he's not original with the way he conducted um, his content with me he probably won't be honest with you either it kind of just draws some confusion with these vendors and obviously you can also write a nice email to him him or her letting them know that you know hey you know I'm not really happy that you infringed my content give me some credit on your website etc etc and see what happens but really, can you really, really do something about it? Um, really, really, to be honest with you, you probably can't. Um, unless, unless you're a blogger, of course. Um, since I use Blogspot, with Google, they actually have a pretty good policy about it. If you, I don't know if you know this, but you know, if somebody infringes your content on, on Blogspot, you can actually report it to Google. Obviously, the, the, the complaint itself is very lengthy. It takes some time for investigation. But it is something that's doable. My personal outlook on it, however, is that you know I usually I used to be bitter, but nowadays I I just let it go, because what comes to your website, or what drives visitors to your website eventually, is your content itself. So if the content itself sucks, nobody's gonna be coming to your website. And you know, if you write one one way and you copy a content from another and you change the words things around, that's just not the same person that's writing the content and. I mean, readers know that. Obviously, the author thinks they're clever, but the readers eventually find out, and usually the original source usually gets figured out anyways. Let's just say uh, somebody will do a research on a certain term, and you wrote something about it a little bit earlier. I mean, usually it's, it, it's up there with them, and you know, if the readers are smart, they look around, just like me, and they eventually find out that you're the first person to write it, and obviously your date will be a lot earlier than the way they write it and obviously you have more authority if they copy your website and just take it as a compliment hey they actually think your web content is worth copying um, that's not to encourage people to copy content obviously but you should really focus the main strategy on your content creation rather than doing cat and mouse game obviously this game never ends in my opinion so um, yeah just relax a little bit and let things go and that will conclude today's lesson Swap W, making money smart. www.swapw.blogspot.com.